if you destroy an MRI machine worth in excess of a million dollars, you're probably not going to have a job in the morning. What's up, everybody? It's your man, Big Jones the Juggernaut, and this is The Breakdown. First up, Total Recall. It's a pretty crazy effect for the time right there. Let's pause it right there. The problem is, is that if you were gonna have a machine like this, it would have to constantly be spewing out photons, be spewing out radiation. People are already wigged out about radiation as it is, if are they gonna get cancer and all that. As an x-ray tech, I probably hear that every single day. X-ray techs practice something called ALARA, or as low as reasonably achievable. We wanna use as little radiation to produce the best possible radiograph. Let's keep watching. There, as far as I know, there's no x-ray scanner I know that was gonna beep if you have a gun or a knife or something. I worked in Texas for eight months. I'm sure I've encountered somebody with a gun. <laughs> Next, Jackass the movie. What's that? I have no idea. That's not part of you. That's something extra. So he's in, the, he's in the doctor's office looking at his x-rays. Yeah, let's pause it right there. So those look like pretty standard x-rays. Uh, that's a pretty standard KUB where you could see the, uh, the car in his body. <laughs> body. Although, you know, every time I see x-rays in movies, there's one thing that's always missing, even if it's a good picture. I never see a letter marker. Real x-rays that you get in a hospital are going to have a marker that distinguishes the anatomical position of the patient. So if you ever get an x-ray on your hand, you're going to put your hand down and then you see a little marker. It's about that big and it'll say L or R as in left or right on it. If you send an x-ray to a radiologist as a tech and there's no marker on it, you're he may not like you very much. Oh. Even if we do print out a film, it's probably gonna come from a computer, not from an actual piece of Kodak film. Let's keep watching. Estuvieron un party ayer y todo el mundo pastado y se estaban temblando uno a los otros y eso. Estaban todos drogados, ya. Estaban drogados anoche. You notice in his office, it's really dark. We really don't need a whole lot of light coming down on us. We need light where we need it. So a lot of times we are working in the dark. They call x-ray techs vampires for that reason, because we kind of are. I don't think I do something like that myself, even as a prank. That's crossing a line. Now, Venom. Eddie, can you hear me? This is Dan speaking to you. Hey. So that's a pretty basic MRI scanner, magnetic resonance imaging. So that magnet is extremely powerful and it is always on. So you got all kinds of stuff that's metal and it will attract and it'll zip, it'll zip right to it. Shut it down. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. okay. Bullshit alert. This guy is not gonna go running in there with what he's got on. This guy's got on a belt and a watch. You can see this watch right there on his wrist. He is definitely not gonna go in there with all that stuff, man. That is bad, bad move. The MRI tech who works there every single day, he would be the one running in there if the patient required some assistance and there's a procedure that has to be followed to keep the patient safe, to keep the equipment safe. So this, this doesn't seem very likely. Let's watch House MD. Yes, it's a tragedy. If I hadn't shot him, his body could have spent the next year letting first year med students use the carpool lane. He said, Do not turn that on, House. You're mad because I put a bullet in his head. The worst all I'm doing now is taking it out. Ooh, no, 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 no. So, more fun with MRIs here. 
So that part at least is pretty accurate. It could definitely tear it out of your body if possible. Um, if it wasn't anchored down, uh, it doesn't really matter. If you destroy an MRI machine worth in excess of a million dollars on some ridiculous, <laughs> well, some ridiculous uh, idea that House probably had, uh, you're probably not gonna have a job in the morning. My bad. And finally, Constantine. But this doesn't really look like cancer. I mean, I've seen cancer in patients before on an x-ray. Like, it almost looks like metal. Those patchy white spots are basically trying to show us that his cancer is more dense than his bone. I'm not saying that can't happen, but Constantine is up and running around and fighting demons and giving the devil the finger and all that stuff. I mean, <laughs> if, if his cancer was really that severe, he would be on oxygen constantly. He would not be able to probably walk very far or move very much. He would be in a really, really bad way. So that was my breakdown. Are there any other movies out there with radiology in them that you could think of that you want me to review? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching the video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Big Jones Big Life on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram right here while you're at it. I will see you guys real soon. Take it easy.